Calgary homicide detectives seem to not be properly trained in what they do, the recent shooting that has happened at 2.15 a.m. on April 3 in a parking lot on Barlow Trail and 37th Avenue Northeast was still being investigated 12 hours later when I went by there, with the vehicle and everything still at the scene and the shooters on the run still. And at around noon I seen on the news that the investigators finally started looking through the car as well as at surveillance footage from nearby businesses, now I know you are going to say that maybe they were busy all night and that the businesses were not open at that time of night, but there should be more investigators hired than so that they can act on these things quick to keep the public safe, and as for the businesses footage, police have access to any building at any time they want. If they need to. By this time obviously the shooters can be long gone by now, and since the police have no clue who they were then the shooters can obviously be gone scot-free and the cops keep everything blocked off instead of actually doing their job properly because I seen them just standing around doing nothing like they usually do, no wonder people can get away with murder with Calgary police doing nothing about anything. Let's look at the recent shooting of rapper Nipsey Hussle that just happened recently, there were security footage that seemed to be too small to get a clear picture of anyone in it but yet two days later his killer was captured by police. I am not just putting the Calgary homicide detectives down, let's see about previous experiences in the past about the Calgary police, when they do radar on city streets you can see the officer in the driver's seat having a nap while the radar gun is doing all the work. And recently on my block the Calgary police were circling my block for over an hour while the Hawks helicopter was out for almost two hours, and the canine dogs were out and when I asked the next day on their Facebook page what was happening no one responded because I find out later from neighbors that there was a stolen car and the suspects ran and were never found, which of course the police did not want to admit publicly on Facebook that they never caught the people. They are supposed to be here to serve and protect us citizens but I did not feel safe that night or any day after that knowing there are suspects in the area that may possibly try to break in or may have a gun hiding in our yards while the amount of police that were out could not find one or two people, I seen the guy run on foot and not once did the police go in the direction he ran, instead they circle the other side of the block and not once came over to ask me if I seen anyone or think I was the suspect since I was outside smoking and I know they seen me. There are a lot of instances where the Calgary police are seen sitting around not doing nothing, only harassing public or their own female partners, and when calls come in they claim there are nothing they can do about it, no wonder the Calgary police are short-staffed, no one wants to work for an untrained police force. On another note, let's not forget that the Calgary police shot more people in 2016 than any other Canadian city's officers with nine current and former officers facing criminal charges, plus the recent sexual harassment cases I explained in a previous video.